All right, so thank you for stopping by Mind Drops. Mind Drops. This is another mini. I'm going to paint this Cheshire Steampunk Cat. I baked him this morning, and he uh, he's ready to get a coat of paint. Let's have at it. So, we got him already here. And I want to get my uh, pictures of some of them. Mr. Bear, you want to get on my lap? All right, we're going to get some tunes going. Maybe today I can play a little bit louder than I did yesterday. That hurt, Mr. Bear? All right. I'm going to bring this up a little louder. Maybe then we can hear it on the other end. Whoops. All right. So I moved the microphone a little. A uh, couple things around. I want to actually have my music playing this time. <laughs> but close this down. This up here. All right. So I'm going to do it. It is a black cat. Or the tabby cat kind of things. Um, and I got this like glittery color. We're just gonna we're just gonna zoom this out a second here. Get to a better get back to normal spot. Yeah, see. I go with purple and this with the black body with some glittery color in the body too. Changing color, color, and the black, a little bit of white, and then got these colors here for the gears. So I can't really see how this is true. but so this should be fun. Get back to my situation here. You can see everything. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to just go with the black for the most of it and then wait for that to dry. You know, maybe I'll do the black over here first and then go over to the other side. Oh, yeah, I need to have, like, a good color for his teeth. I'll have that pearl in it. So pearl's a good color for that. white with a satin finish. I'm going to use that. usually use the mats. Mr. Bear, you want some more room? There you go. Get you on my lap while I do this? Thanks, man. Mr. Grape, thanks for stopping by again. Yeah, I'm going to do a painting here. I'm, I was going to start my armature for my dragon, but I figured I might as well get this guy done first. I'd rather have one done than start the other one. But this won't be too bad. Cool part's gonna be painting the gears with all them metal, golds, and silvers. Hey, uh, painting a treasure chest with the gold and some of those other colors that I got from Goodwill. So, I already know what they look like. I'm down. Since I'm gonna do pretty much all of it, just black. I know, like, the, um, the gold colors and stuff will take better on a black. So pretty much everything I should just paint black. At least a coat of it. And I'm just gonna do like a really thin coat on the side. Just so I can get that paint, the other color paint to take it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, this thing turned out pretty cool. I don't think it's really gonna take too long to paint either. Just a matter of getting the the base colors down. Pretty much. Oh, the zipper's cool. on there. Excited to do the dragon, but I know I kind of want to have a clear mind when I started. I don't want to be thinking about something else. I already got a few things set up for it. Some screws and I'm still kind of planning out how the heads are going to go together to the body. colors. We'll have a nice black background on there. I don't know how strong it really is to have it on the refrigerator. Give to somebody. Once I start adding the other 
colors in. Really. Start looking cool. Quite a bit of texture in it. stuff on the whiskers so they're like got little look like they're droplets on them give it something to grab onto I thought maybe but it looks cool no down To let him down, he's kind of an old cat. Like 17. Heard him. the eyelid. I already find it. At least I got it in the edge and the inside of the eyelid though. Kind of what matters. I think that's the same thing over here. out there.
It's dry now. I thought that the one side would have dried a little better. Hey, I'm on three kiddos. Yeah, I decided to give it a little painting today. Figure I'd finish it up before I start to drag them. Contemplated pretty hard about it. Yeah, I'm going to use like a purple for the um the like tabby cat marks with this uh dragon scale dragonfly glaze or top of it and some white and then his teeth are gonna be that pearl again with this um satin finish white thicker white and then I got a bunch of these cool colors for the steampunk stuff are all like gold and copper and silver and metal. Thinking it's going to be pretty cool. Friday. Yeah, I definitely think that the tabby marks will look awesome with this dragon, dragon one. Yeah, these are just acrylics. Um, this is a, it's a gloss finish though. Um, they're just from Walmart. They're all part of the folk art ones. Same with these metal um, colored ones, brushed metal. They're all folk art. I've been trying to just slowly get most of the colors. I think I want to go on there and get like every matte color at one time. I think it's like 30 of them. I mean, it's still a dollar piece really isn't that bad. And if I use them, like sometimes it's nice not having to mix a color like that orc when I was painting them. I would, I would hate to have to go and mix a green color to match the green color again. Even though it's just cheap paints, you know. I'm, 
kind of only using them because I can just replace them at Walmart. I don't have to go and wait for them to come in the mail. Otherwise, I gotta wait. We don't have a craft store anywhere by me. I also tried using like their cheaper, cheaper ones. And I actually had pretty good results with them too, so. I don't really think it matters what kind of acrylic paint you use on this kind of stuff. I never really painted any paintings with acrylics, so just oil. I've seen that, but I never tried it. It looks looks neat. It'd be cool to make like galaxies and put like wax on it, maybe in spots, so it wouldn't stay on it, or you could scrape it off. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I bet you it's satisfying to watch it like pour out. Mesmerizing. I think I should paint in between the teeth too with this black. Just really thinking that. I would rather paint the white on top of it. part always gives it so much life. today to or yesterday to today this guy is pretty cool still amazes me how fast something can turn out I should have changed the color of this one. I should have put it to like a, a copperish color so it was like more steampunky. But I guess you live and learn, you know. No, I can't change it. Tight spaces. And I 
don't want to leave that black in between them. I don't know how. I'm just going to be good. Without me touching the lip. Push the brush down just right so it goes up in there and not on the actual lip part. Helps having really good eyes. Start getting the color on them. They're really, really show up a lot. So cool. I just can't wait to see some of the other things I'm going to come up with. Like, uh, we got a couple other ideas and things in, in the works. Yeah, right? The teeth already like pop out, like, yeah. Especially on the camera. I, I can't see what it exactly looks like on the stream, but on the, the OBS stuff, it looks really good. Yeah, I'm really looking for the dragon too. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be streaming everything. I'm trying to record all my stuff so I can make like time lapse videos of it. So. Like edited all the stops and pauses out. Yeah, yeah, it gives me motivation to keep doing it. Like, oh, I have to touch up that white spot. That's kind of why I'm streaming it to begin with. I, uh, I wasn't very motivated. I had like a procrastination issue going on. I think everybody kind of goes through it, but I, uh, well, I snowboard, I did it for like 15 years, and I hurt myself last year, pulled my pelvic floor muscle, and I couldn't snowboard this year, so, well, I could, but I just decided not to, and so I had to pick up a different outlet, and this is my outlet, so, and I can do this all year round now. hurting myself oh no it's all good it's part of part of doing sports like that you know and I'm getting older so I gotta be careful I've been only going up in Michigan where it's like backcountry snowboarding anyways so partially my fault it is what it is my first like injury really in 15 years so and it might not even really been from it it might have been more from just stress and I drive a forklift so sitting all the time doesn't really help and yeah I missed like three and a half months of work last year because of it But things happen for a reason. I learned things and I, I grew from it. You know, I mean, I wouldn't have never enjoyed going up there and, and experiencing Michigan if it wouldn't have been for snowboarding, so. I 
kind of think everything happens for reasons, you know. I just take it easy now when I go snowboarding and do it more as a leisure thing. And make sure I don't hurt myself, you know. Not a spring chicken anymore. And them teeth look so cool with the white on. Cross country. I want to try cross country skiing. Actually, my uh, my fiance wants to try doing it. She used to do it when she was younger. Uh, I wanted to go up there and try it because there's some like really nice, like a snowboard down, and then there's some really nice trails that go along Lake Superior. It's supposed to be really pretty. And it's just gorgeous up there anyways. Just being anywhere in nature is nice. But I'm glad I did pick up a different outlet because I like doing this a lot. Like, it's fun. Very therapeutic, you know. Yeah, you guys get that that's a lot of snow over there. Yeah, I'm in Wisconsin, so we get just get temperamental weather. Mother Nature doesn't know what she's doing here. It's like yesterday was like forty five or something like that, and tomorrow is supposed to be eighty. So So we have that. Oh, North Carolina is cool. I um, my my daughter lived there for a while. I I went to uh, we stayed in um, Emerald Island. We camped one time there, and then we got a beach house a couple times with my sister. in like New Bern, I think it was. Now they're over in California. Yeah, that looks so cool. I only got to touch up a couple spots. The way, because of the way. Yeah, but you guys get those hurricanes. That that stuff kind of freaks me out. I mean, I know it's not that bad, but still, it can be. It can be really crazy sometimes. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little pearl to the teeth, just a little bit. It doesn't need to be too much. Just a little tad. Just a tad of the pearl. It'll give it a nice, like, kind of a gleam. Okay, which one did I start on? I started on this one, so this one's probably the driest. Yeah. And I don't really need to cover the whole thing with it, so I'm just kind of. so cool. Really comes to life with these teeth. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about the dragon. Like, I'm trying to, like, plan out how it's going to connect together. It's going to be kind of heavy. 
I have some bolts and stuff I can use and a few other odds and ends to brace it some for the two heads to go to. But I'm still a little nervous. As with most art, you know, you're learning as you go a lot of times. So. Shall be interesting. Yeah, this looks so cool. Huh? <laughs> I don't know how much you guys can see. The shine on there with the pearl on it. But it, it does show up really good. Well, put this in here, get it cleaned off. I think I was using the same one for black. This one. Put up the little antler here. I guess I might end up painting them with a little bit of white on them anyway, so if I could have just left them. I think there's only like two little dots on the lip. Oh, there's one little one underneath there. Well, that's not too bad for them teeth. Yeah, it does look cool, doesn't it? Like the... Okay, now... I gotta look at a couple of references here, because... I definitely need to figure out the markings for the tabby cat, but I want to do it like... I don't gotta do both of them, so... It kind of narrows it down. I guess I could probably just... on my shelf here, like, kind of like right next to the camera right here, where it'll fold down, and put my paints on it, and I can put like the tools I'm not using up there, got some ideas of some things I want to do. I just don't have to like dig through stuff to get everything out all the time. You know, I, I kind of... have like maybe one up the middle maybe two I think I want to do it really light first Get some water that's the wrong water color down a little bit with a little bit of black on the brush too so it's a little darker and I just want it to be like a wet mark okay so it looks kind of like most of them have just the regular mark nothing on the eyebrow but like going up like 
kind of on the side. I'm gonna have to try a couple other things here to get it a little darker, but still might work. Yeah, I can do like on the edge of the ear. Oh yeah, the exacto blade. I hate getting that off there. It's it's like a pet peeve almost of mine. Like I can, if I try to do it with my fingernails, I just get it irritated, and I usually bend my fingernail from it, and it really it irritates me. So like I I'll I'll take the time to look for the exacto knife to to get it out. Like I literally, that's why I was digging around in there because I didn't want to use my fingernail. <laughs> it's funny that you notice that. <laughs> First you want to kill me. Yeah, it's now you want to kiss me. It's funny the little things you do is just so you don't blow, you know, hurt yourself or you know, do something irritating or annoying. That's <laughs> funny. Okay, so I know that this is just the first time going over it. I think I want to go over it again after it dries. Get it to have a more of a I look there on it, but I think I want to just put a couple little streaks in his face, I, I and then I'll take some white I, and go with some white. I am a slave. Cause you know he's gonna have it on his side too. <laughs> it is turning out pretty cool. Yeah, you make kids help you. Yeah, it's a one way one way to get it done. First you want to kill me. Now you want to kiss me. Whoa! I am a slave. I am a slave. Just trying to add a couple little a streaks slave. in there. Here, I might have a couple little, little purple streaks on it too. I think I'm gonna make a thin white also. I'd kind of do the same thing with the thin white. turn out I, I use the same brush with the, the purple on it still to get the white to have a little like, hint of the purple in it maybe
I don't know if it's a... Uh... Yeah, they look pretty good for the tabby. I'm trying to... Because he's got like a little bit of a lighter, lighter in its face, you know? And then the nose is like a, a pinkish nose, kind of, on most of them. I wonder... I wonder if this is too... Let's see what this looks like on it. Because it's a really light color. Maybe if it's just like... Frosted on it like that, maybe that'll... Refrigerator magnet. I mean, it's kind of thick, but once you have magnets on it, it's on the fridge. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Now I'm gonna grab that Berkeley color. I almost did it. I started trying to open it up my fingers. About ready to get upset at it. <laughs> Thank you, Roy Racer, for the lemons. Oh, I have some uh, some neodymium magnets already. They're like a pack of like 50 or 60 of them. I'm gonna put three of them on it. Like dirt, dirt, dirt. Figure three should should do the trick, and I'll use like. Maybe a super strong super glue or something. Yeah, I was thinking about making my uh, dragon's heads when they go to, when it goes to the shoulders, having a magnet in the inside of it to hold it together. That's why I got the magnets. Been kind of planning it for a while. See how this. I should use a little less of it, but I think I should just put it where the cat, tabby cat colors are. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be cool on her. Has like a nice little magical look to it. Like, no, I didn't eat those mushrooms. But you're on a mushroom. <laughs> uh, the the label of the um, dragon skin one, the dragon glaze. I have a couple other colors too. It's the same thing. There's but it's been a, an awakening. A have you felt it? Yes. It sucks because some of them have the thing There's on the top more. and don't. Oh, here it is. Here's the other one. This one is uh, green, green gold. 
same thing. Uh, the number, the number is four four three eight four E for this one. I think there's four of them total, but I can never find the other ones. I always take a little look whenever I'm at, at Walmart. Just to try to get them. I don't want to order them because they're too expensive when you order them. These other ones, uh, these color shifting ones are pretty cool too. They have like a, a sheen too. Yes. Well, I'm glad I could help you. I figured I'd use it on the, the dragons, the green one on the dragon. Does make him look a little magical. Yeah, gives it that little bit of a, a bit of a pop to it, you know. Considering it's going to be the the steampunk stuff on the other side. Good having the glittery looking. Yeah, I figured I was gonna do it like in like maybe patterns down the, the scale so it wasn't over the whole thing. Yeah, I do the same thing. We got a couple of them around us, a couple of Walmarts. I looked for them online too, but most of them are like a dollar more. And if I'm already going there, you know, I'm already at Walmart. Right, so now we're gonna get over to the other side here, it looks like. Unless, I don't really wanna mess with the lip too much. I kinda like it being that black. But maybe I could, subtle but Yeah, I'm gonna leave the lip dark. I'm just going around the edge so you can see the, the definition of it a little bit better with this lighter color. You can kind of see a little better in there now. I think I was thinking about doing it around the ear too. Crazy with a couple little 
dashes does, you know. Yeah, I think I think I don't want to touch him anymore. Maybe just do a little coat on his nose. start using the, the metal the metal colors yeah it, it does doesn't it that little bit around it like it really shows it off and I, that dragon scale stuff like in the little spots where the purple's at it really makes the purple look looks dreamy I was always kind of creeped out from that cat. I remember seeing it when I was really little. Yeah, I don't know. The zipper should probably be a silver. Okay, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Some of the gears got to be like a gold. Some of the gears got to be like a, a bronze. This one. Bronze, gold. That's a rose gold. It's a brush gold. Metallic silver, metallic super black, big color shifting. Alright. So I think I should go with the farther down stuff first. I'm gonna paint one of those little things down there with a gold dot or something. I have to take out a whole bunch of paint out of here. Because it's this stuff actually spreads really good. Remember, especially when you're doing it on black. I have like a little circle down here. I just want to try to paint that one little circle. like it's good down here. No, I think I might do this one here too. This gold. It's got gold rivets. That's the reason why I put the black down though on this part too. Otherwise it'd be so hard to cover that. I think we might do that color later.
I don't know how much better I could paint this if I had some of those glasses. Ah, when I said that, I messed up. It. Yeah, that that gold really like starts to set it off too. Get rid of this little spot I messed up there too. I don't want to use the gold too much. Well, this one in particular because there's so many other colors to use. So this was the brushed antique. I'm gonna set that one over there. is way darker than that gold. I think I'm gonna do this whole top piece right here. In bronze. This eyelid or eyebrow. I don't really have a plan for how I want the colors to go on it. Wing it. It's kind of how I do it with all the the planning. I mean, I have an idea of what I want it to look like or what it's going to do, but I kind of always wing it. That's why I like art, because you can change your plan on it so much and not really notice. <laughs> wow, that's so cool with that on it. Thanks. Yeah, he's looking pretty awesome. circles there. That, that, that little tubes in. I'm trying to keep it so it kind of looks like it's into like a O-ring or something. That's so cool.
that zipper is going to get painted silver. The zipper and the zipper end, I think, could be good in silver. So it kind of like it's aluminum. Got something up here we can paint with this bronze too. Maybe these things. Yeah, these things can be painted on bronze. I gotta think more about painting them when I make them so I it so it's easy to paint. <laughs> a lot to do with that black contrasting with it someday I'll find the pictures of the treasure the treasure chest I found at Goodwill that I painted with these I like got like a three dollar treasure chest and I put like my game controllers and stuff in it Really cool for three bucks. It was like three dollars and like ten dollars for the paint or something like that. Yeah, I was when I was off work. I had to have something to do. Yeah, it was like a flowered uh, fabric or sewing chest. I just sanded it down and made it like a treasure chest. You can really see my fingerprints after you paint it. Especially on the sides here. So that's bronze up there. I wonder. Maybe I could do it on this pulley. Inside of this pulley, maybe. And maybe this gear here. Do the whole thing. Side wheel of that one, maybe not the not the, the inner pin, but yeah, like the the seams kind of do a lot for you. As long as you make some of the grooves in there enough to be able to follow it. When you go to paint it, it looks like it's a full thing. Huh. 
Oh, okay. Oh, I got. I can probably do something up here still too. Maybe. Oh, maybe we're gonna hold off with that. Not that brush. Okay, so that was just the brush bronze and the gold I used so far. Wow. Silver now. It's a metallic finish on for the zipper. Maybe it'll look kind of like it's uh, aluminum. Maybe I don't want to do that quite yet. Maybe I want to try one of this. I need to color these guys down here or something. Maybe I'll use this black, black flash. It's called. like a, another flaky one kind of like the, uh, the dragon one but it's in like a gold the color shifting kind of a black so I might not be able to see it too good oh yeah I can see that for this. that um, Mandalorian skull to somebody tomorrow. I didn't want to start another project until I got rid of that. Um, it's hard to start a big project too, like, when I mean, you know it's going to take a few hours. <laughs> Just setting up is going to take a while for that one, like, can be tricky sometimes. I have some like mesh stuff that I'm gonna try to use for the neck. It's like a, it's like a screen, kind of like a screen, kind of like a screen door almost. I wonder if I put this one around the eye. Bronze 
be a little brighter on the edges. thing is so cool now oh that that oh can you see the shimmer on that now on the eye i don't know if you can see that but i, I couldn't see it before wow that's so cool couldn't see it on the edge pieces i think i might do this ear with that too oh i think my dog wants to Dogs. That's awesome that you can see that. Like, I didn't know how good that can be picked up on the screen. That like, that like totally makes it pop. Like, I think I want to use that somewhere else. Maybe, maybe on the ear. Just the ear, not the the plunger on it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe it's too much. color shift paints are so much more. They're like three something. I haven't been able to actually see it on a on a sculpt yet. be awesome for the zipper that would really make it look metallic maybe that metal um Berlin silver will look cool still you okay, know i think now that i got done with the excitement over that color shift there <laughs> you know how they are for pouring I would assume like do you thin it out when you pour it so I've never actually seen the process of it I mean, I've seen them pour paints, but I don't know if they like mix it with another medium. Oh, a pouring medium? Okay. Does it like dry quick or something? The medium? Probably helps it flow, probably. Okay, so. Well, that one needs to be mixed up big time. thing too. My hands always hurt. Yeah, my dog's losing hers right now. It's terrible. This thing for nail polish. You can like mix your paints up. I know my uh my hands can't handle it some days. This one's like really Really, really liquidy. I 
Ah, okay, I see why it's liquidy. Yeah, see, I was thinking about finding something to use to help with paint when you're painting it instead of water. I I have an airbrush, and all the things I see on the airbrush said to use alcohol in it. And Trizara48, thanks for the lemon. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, I think this should be shook up enough. Uh, wow, it looks like aluminum in there. Hope it doesn't like blow off it really bad. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm gonna start up here first. silver because all the other stuff's like a gold it'll like really contrast with it you frame your your uh, poor paintings so good for how thin it is I still can't believe how good it's covering it silver it must just be because it's on top of that black too the silver yeah what, what do you use for a top coat is it like a just a sealant for it I want to find something to seal these with because I got some like acrylic sealer and it stays tacky. High gloss, yeah. The one I got a mat, got a matte finish, like acrylic matte. It stays tacky, I don't like it at all. I put some on that Mandalorian skull and I met the sword skull and I just do not like the outcome of it. I actually held off on giving it to the guy for a day because I was worried about how tacky it was. Mod Podge. Uh, I'll show you the stuff I got. It's supposed to be non tacky. Like, all that stuff. And I used it on the Mandalorian guy. Must have been mad at it. Put it somewhere else. Oh. It's just a Mod Podge one. I 
I really wish I could have took my time with this guy and made the zipper a little bit better. I had like a little bit of extra time, I probably could have. Ah, uh, gives him character. Yeah, so cool. over. Silver is like a wash it seems like. But it's not it's like that pigment there. Over, not overdo it. Dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities. Could probably consider grab the black metallic. Use that in a couple spots. I'll shoot this one up too. Yeah, our, our cat doesn't like getting rushed either. We have like a, a mitt thing you put on your hand. Yeah, let's brush them. Shiny black. 
way. Dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities. Some consider to be unnatural. unnatural. This one right here, black brush. This is like a metallic black. Uh, and it's like a a gloss finish. Yeah, they usually do hate them all. Is it a long hair cat? Yeah, our dog doesn't like it either. So we're going through that too right now. It's fun. I got like balls of hair in my yard from brushing around outside. Hmm. <laughs> that just turned out so wicked. Oh, that gear looks cool and all that. It's glossy. I'm going to turn this one glossy here too. It's like gray on the edge. If I can get them there just right. Same amount of time. Yeah. Um, I had a cat for 19 years and he passed away um, two years ago. Two and a half years ago. And uh, that's when I got my dog. 19 years. And, uh, he, he would never let you brush him, like, at all. But he didn't have to brush him, though. He was a Siamese cat, so he hardly even shed. When he passed away, I got a dog that has more hair than he had, so it's pretty much the same trade-off, I guess, you know. Super cool. Wow. 
Yeah, the zipper mouth is so cool. I really wish I would have had a little bit more detail on it. But the end, you can see it, so. It, he, he just had eaten some stuff, you know, he's got this, you know, he's a metal mouth, so whenever he eats anything, he's got to ruin the zipper. So there's a brush gold, a flat gold, I mean a flat brush silver. I don't really need to add any more to him. I mean I do have this like, it's like a more of a, a reddish color. Be able to use it on something so I can, yeah at least use it. <laughs> Looks like copper. What do we have in here that can change to copper? We can put this little thing right here on the side. Not being used by anybody. one up in there too so it has this different color over here on this side. Make match. They're used for something. Yeah, it's a weird... It's a weird color. It looks really good on here, though. Like... Uh, brushed rose gold. All these like um, brush colors came in like a six pack together. It's like brush bronze, brush antique gold, brush gold, brush silver, and brush rose gold. I use a lot of it on the Mandalorian guy. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really close to that rose gold color. A lot of these colors are, they got really good pigment in them for being just cheap colors, you know. And they paint pretty good, I mean, not the best, but. I paint with some other acrylics that are way worse. I know it's a lot of times you gotta like layer these. Let's go slower and like do like one layer and then come back over and then after it dries a little bit, do another layer. But other than that, this guy is so cool. I wonder if I can paint this little spot there too, because he's got like all the other brush gold, maybe. that gear look a little bit better there.
concentrating. You know, you gotta concentrate a little bit while you're painting up fine stuff. Sounds like water. All the other ones are like thick, pasty pigment. This one's like, you shake it up, it looks like liquid aluminum. going to amaze me for a while still till I've drive down like so many sculpts. But it still amazes me. But my hands and my brain made this thing, you know. Yeah, it looks like liquid aluminum. Like I want to you can, can you can see in here too, right? Yeah, it's like uh, almost like mercury. Every single time I shake it up, it's like I think of it as mercury. will cover all the silver stuff one more time. Cover that spot that silver got on it, right here. That's a little bit more shiny. And oh, never mind. Think about going in between all this stuff. To not make it look so flat, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's done. Kinda like the outcome of it. I mean the back's just plain, but Got some whiskers. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's about done. Looks so cool. I'll do as much I can, much more I can do to him. Yeah, that metallic stuff looks really good. Let's shit stuff around the eye. But, yeah. So 
so that was that. Only a two hour thing today it looks like. Thank you. Yeah, it uh, blows me away still that I could do this, you know. When I, when I thought I could do it a couple, couple years ago. Just, just crazy. Especially when it's something that's just little like this, you know. Makes me wonder what it'll be like in like a year or so, when I maybe two years when I got like a bunch of these little things behind me. But uh, I appreciate you coming in here and watching me. And uh, anybody out there that uh, enjoys the enjoys these, appreciate it. Come by and watch me some more. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to do an entire cat, maybe a whole entire uh, steampunk cat. That would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm still getting used to this whole thing. I'm, I'm glad it's enjoyable. Still uh, gives me some reinforcement to keep doing it. So thanks, do appreciate it. Yep, you have a great rest of your day, okay? Everybody out there, have a great rest of your day. It's supposed to be nice this weekend. Oh, here, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll put it up close. I like that grin, it's so cool. Like, even the zipper grin is so cool. Yeah. Well, I hope they liked it. You have a great day. And my song ended too at the same time. Look at that. I'm gonna fade this out. And we're gonna go to the... Thank you very much.